Hey guys, so we're going to take a look at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Ultimate Collection Volume 1. And uh, what this collection is, is basically uh, the first in a series of, I believe, five compilations of all the original uh, Mirage Studios Turtles comics. Uh, volume 1 of the Turtles comics, to be precise. Uh, the Turtles comics are divided into four volumes, and uh, Volume 1 is the original ones. Uh, there's about... I think there are about 60 of them all in total, but um, a number of them are non-canonical and were drawn by uh, artists other than Eastman and Laird, who are the original creators of Turtles. But uh, anyway, I'm getting a bit uh, into a tangent here. Um, so this book right here contains... What does it contain? It contains volumes 1 to 7, or issues 1 to 7, I should say. Uh, it can, and it contains the uh, Raphael Micro Series One Shot, which is the introduction of Casey Jones. And uh, it also contains annotations by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, which uh, come at the end of each issue. And uh, basically, they, you know, the, the two guys just talk about every, uh, you know, the general overview of the issue, uh, things that were going on for them at the time, and then they actually annotate each page. So uh, that's very interesting to read. Uh, now, in short, if you are a Turtles fan and you want to read Turtles comics, uh, this is definitely the book for you. Uh, I definitely say buy it in that case. To me, there are only two things, two reasons why you wouldn't buy this. Number one, most obviously, you're not a Turtles fan and you're not going to be re uh, reading the Turtles comics. Which, uh, yeah, ob obviously, you're probably not even watching this uh, video, so, yeah. And uh, the other reason would be that all the uh, pages in this book are in black and white. Uh, absolutely everything is black and white. And this is how Turtles originally was drawn. Uh, there was no colour or anything. However, currently there is also a uh, series of comics being released called the Colour Classics line. And these are all the same comics, just being released individually, uh, except you know, they're all in, they're all, they've all been colourised by other artists. So uh, that's the only you know, caveat that I could really think of. Uh, if you don't like the black and white artwork and would prefer it in colour, then you, you do have another option. Uh, personally, though, I think the black and white artwork, artwork looks really striking, and uh, in the end, it's the way that it was originally created. So, um, overall, I don't think it really should be too much of a problem. Uh, in my opinion, aside from those factors, this is the best uh, Turtles compilation ever released. And, uh, anyway, so we'll just take a quick look at it. I try not to be too long, um, unlike my Color Classics <laughs> uh, Volume 1 review, but anyway. So we've got a really great front cover here, and uh, it's really striking, in my opinion. When I first got it out, I just really looked at it, and it, it just looked great to me. So we've got the uh, the four turtles in color. Notice that they all have uh, the red headbands. This is because in the original version of turtles, uh, they all had the same colored headband. Uh, they were just differentiated by their weapons and uh, the dialogue. Uh, but anyway, so they all look great. And then over here we have uh, a very nice piece of artwork of April O'Neil who uh, I should actually stress looks nothing like that in any of these particular comics. Uh, I don't know if she looks, you know, starts to look like that later, but uh, right now she looks a bit different. This one looks a bit closer to her uh, 80s cartoon uh, version. Uh, we have a picture of the Shredder up there, which uh, looking very nice. Uh, and of course we have a, you know, the Cityscape in the background. We have uh, Splinter down there. Uh, we have Foot Ninja all around here. Uh, we have, you know, a piece of a, you know, a mouser down there. We have the four turtles uh, being covered in radioactive goo. Uh, with the TCRI canister there. Uh, so it's a really, really great front cover. And uh, the one thing I will stress, though, is that this thing is big. Uh, it's hard to give you just how much of an I, you know, and a good idea of just how big this thing is. Um, <laughs> Like, I don't know, there, there's my there's my arm length, so it's a fair... It's a, it's a fair size, basically. I was very surprised at just how big it was uh, when I got it. And uh, honestly, there, this won't fit very easily on my bookshelf. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so the Shredder's uh, mask is continued over there, creating a very nice little uh, side image. Uh, so, naturally, this is number one of, I believe, five. And, uh, yeah, it just has it all written down here. Get some more of a mouser, the IDW logo. And on the back, we just get a compilation of all the different shots from all the different, uh, you know, stories included in this volume. 
So we get things like the Utroms, uh, you know, the uh, Alliance Soldiers, the Fugitoid, uh, Casey Jones, Triceratons, the Foot Soldier up there, uh, the Tur well, the April's Van actually. Uh, I was about to say Turtle Van. Uh, so yeah, it's a really great uh, cover. And inside, as I was showing you before, you have um, you know, all the black and white artwork. So uh, this is just the front page. You naturally get a contents page, which goes through. There's over 300 pages of uh, comics in here. So as I said before, issues uh, 1 through 7 and the Raphael one-shot. Uh, because the pages are so big, everything's very uh, nice and high quality, and uh, you know, all the images scale up really nicely to this size. Uh, before at the start of each actual comic, we get a... Where is it? Uh, we get the front cover of the original comic, uh, printed just as it was. So eventually this actually becomes uh, you know, a full colour cover. So... There we are. So you can see it right there. So uh, basically everything that should you know, be printed there is printed there in its original form. And uh, then this is what I was talking about with annotations. So you get things from Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird and uh, they go through, you know, they have some like early concept sketches like that. Uh, they go through page by page. Uh, there's a huge amount of stuff uh, that comes with this volume and it's very interesting if you enjoy these comics. Um, but aside from that, really it's just that, um, you know, not much to say aside from the actual stories themselves. Um, the original issue number one is definitely the best uh, story. Uh, from what, from everything I've seen of Turtles, in my opinion, it's the best Turtle story, full stop. Um, so, but all the other stories in this are pretty good. Uh, the Raphael one-shot is definitely among the highlights. Uh, Casey Jones, as you can see there. Um, and what, what else was there? I think uh, the story just before they get blasted off into space, uh, where they're trying to infiltrate the CCRI building and they end up fighting the foot soldiers and stuff, that's a lot of fun. Um, and it's, you know, it's great when they learn about all the, you know, their original origins and we see the backstory of the Utrom and, you know, we go through all these space battles with, uh, the Fugitoid and everything. Uh, it's a, it's a really wild ride and you, you, you get a great amount of variety. But, uh, definitely the original, that original issue number one is, uh, you know, the highlight of this book. But, uh, anyway, so in terms of the artwork, I think, uh, it's all really excellent. Uh, the one thing which a lot of people do complain about with this, with these uh, books is that people sometimes look a bit off. And uh, it's definitely a bit of a case sometimes. If I can find a good picture. Uh, so that's April O'Neil as in her first volume. And uh, you can see, you can kind of see what, uh, I, what I mean by she looks a bit different from the front cover. And uh, she does. She does actually change quite a bit, and people's faces kind of go between okay and less okay. Uh, but it's just the kind of one thing that brings the artwork down. Uh, the turtles and Splinter, and uh, you know all the different creatures they fight, like the Triceratons and all that sort of thing. Uh, they all look fantastic. So uh, yeah, probably not much else to say really. Uh, there's a huge variety in the stories, uh, they're all great fun to read, and uh, it's a really fantastic compilation. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> if, you if you like Turtles, then I definitely recommend you pick it up. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will see you later.